You know, I get up every day, I feel like... <laughs> Let's get high on Android, bitches! Hi folks, I'm on Android.com, where we get... <laughs> on Android every day. Anyway, some of you asked me, Hey Max, how do I update my LG G3 to Lollipop? Well, if you're already rooted and have Toy Recovery installed on your LG G3, it's very easy to do. The easiest way is to install the stock ROM. Now, if you're already on stock KitKat ROM, this will simply update you to the Lollipop ROM and allow you to keep root. And also with Lollipop, you lose twerp on most of the models right now, except for the D855 due to the lock bootloader. So if you want to keep root and your twerp recovery and get Lollipop, this is the best way to do it. Let me guide you through step by step. Let's go do this together, baby. <sighs> Alright guys, in this tutorial I'm using a T-Mobile LG G3, but you can do this with any LG G3. First, go ahead and download the appropriate uh, stock ROMs. You can go to uh, the lgg3root.com and uh, go to the stock ROMs uh, page. I'll have the link in the description, go check that out. Most of the models of the G3, you only need one file, uh, but if you want to update the modem also, you can go ahead and download that. For the T-Mobile version, there's actually four different files. Um, grab the boot, which is the kernel, bootloader, uh, and modem, and also the system. Grab all four of those, uh, and uh, for other models, it may be one or two files. You can just go ahead and flash them all. Also, make sure you grab the super SU zip file. This will root uh, your device. Before we go any further, I assume that you have root and you already have Tor Recovery installed, so you're probably on KitKat official. You may you can be on different custom ROMs, but you probably never updated to the official Lollipop LG firmware. Um, then you can go ahead and use this method. Go ahead and use Quick Boot. Um, you also, you can reboot into Recovery manually. All right, so make sure you hit Grant, and this will boot you into your Torp Recovery. Now, if you're coming from a stock LG firmware, you've never installed a custom ROM, then you don't have to do any wipe. If you're coming from a custom ROM, then you'll have to do wipe. I am coming actually from a stock ROM, so I'm not going to do any wipe, but if you're coming from like a custom ROM that's not based on LG, go ahead and do a factory reset. Otherwise, you don't have to do that, and go ahead and go to install, go to your download folder, go ahead and install all the files. Um, so I'm going to go simply go ahead and start with the boot here, All right, which is the kernel, and I'm going to go ahead and install the next one, the bootloader. All right, that was easy. Uh, go back, install the modem. That was easy. And go ahead and install the system. These are all the actual system files. And we're going to go ahead and also flash the SuperSU to make sure we have full root. And this way you can go ahead and keep your twerp. Uh, I would never do the upgrade because the lollipop on most of the G3 models will break your bootloader, your twerp recovery. Um, there is a twerp for Lollipop for the D855. I'm not sure for the other version. I think there's one also for Verizon, but the other models, the developers are, I think, still working on it. So for those of you rooted with Lollipop, that's why you don't have twerp yet. So if you want to stay rooted with the LG de devices especially, you want to make sure, uh, be safe about it when you do the OTA updates. Then you may lose your ability to root. Sometimes you lose your ability to use twerp. Um, so it is best if you keep root. Uh, it is always best to install stock rooted ROMs instead. All right, when that's done, uh, we're going to go ahead and install the SuperSU zip file. All right. And this will root uh, your device pretty much. Go ahead and reboot and you should be on the latest Lollipop. Uh, with root and with twerp recovery, which is good. So I will fast forward this and we'll be back shortly here. By the way, if you guys want to get a good case, check out the uh, Cruiser Light case. I've been using this for almost a year. I love it. Uh, it's a freaking awesome case. It's got a nice lip. Uh, it's going to protect your phone. Uh, it's a really nice slim case that's going to protect your phone and give you a nice little Android uh, logo there. So definitely check it out. All right, there you go. It's got the uh, Android is upgrading screen. If you got to this point, you're good to go. All right, guys, uh, once you have booted, uh, if you were coming from a stock ROM, um, you should now be on the latest Android 5.0 Lollipop. Uh, you can go ahead and double check you have Lollipop now. Go to about phone, 
go to software info and you should have 5.0.1. It could be 5.0, 5.0.2 also, depending on your model number. You can also verify you have full lollipop. Uh, make sure you hit that. And go ahead and hold it down and you'll be able to play the new Android lollipop game if you have not yet. Sort of seems a little bit laggy here. Um, now, if you're having lag issues or something, you can go ahead and um, try backing up everything, back up your apps using Titanium Backup, uh, and then do a factory reset. That might get you started on a fresh slate. Sometimes that happens with OTA updates. That's why I don't actually recommend it that much. Sometimes OTA updates can make it even slower uh, than KitKat. There you have it. That's how you can update your phone to Lollipop and enjoy all the Lollipop performance improvements, all the good stuff. Uh, but uh, as far as functionality, it's pretty much identical. There's some differences with the notifications, uh, but the performance should be a lot better. Battery life should be a lot better. Um, that's about it, yeah. And oh yeah, you should have full root. Go ahead and check that you have Super SU. Um, go ahead and run it once. Make sure you don't get any art errors. Uh, if you don't get any errors, you're fully rooted on Lollipop. And thanks guys for watching this video. That was how to update your rooted LG G3 to Lollipop firmware without losing your tour recovery or root. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you want more videos like this. Stay on Android.